Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This week, it's the Dancing Bears of Barrington. I pulled off this piece about seven years ago, and to be honest with you, I totally forgot about it. Until the other day when I was looking around on the computer and saw these cool images where there's welding and there's shimming and cutting off huge body parts and putting them back together. My name's Jeff Moore, I'm the Northwoods Carver, and thanks for seeing what I saw. Well, I was going to just let this whole video go without having any kind of interference from my voice, but I figure why not? This is a really cool story, and I just want to tell it. So, as you can see, I started carving this outdoors, and uh, right around here I decided to, there was some rot in there and some weird inclusions, so I had to cut that huge piece off of there and laminated a huge chunk on, and as you can see here, I'm buttoning it up, you know, and also there was some huge cracks in the wood that I had to fix. That was actually my wife fixing those. She's really good at it, so. Um, she had a good teacher what can I say. As you can see, there's pause, and there's there's pause to take pause, I suppose. Ooh. Uh, here you can see some metal bet bracketry that is going to be uh, placed on a steel pad that will be bolted on top of a like an 18 foot huge log. And here's my buddy Jeremiah. The guy's a welder. He's a welding machine. He welded this all up for me, and uh, so everything. The bears had no contact with anything but the steel, so they were kind of floating. But because of the angle on top of the 18-foot log that they were going to be mounted on, um, you would never know it. You you just assume they were. They, they look like they're in midair dancing. You know, like they're freeze framed in midair. So it was pretty cool. As you can see, the welds and how that was all going to be done. Uh, we lagged that whole thing. Later, you'll see we lagged it all to a uh, to the top of the oak tree. See, I was supposed to carve the oak tree originally, but it didn't work out. There was some rot up there, and I just said, "Hey, how about we just uh, leave that thing stand and make it a tremendous base?" And that's what we did. And you can see it in all its glory. Uh, with the flats where I added the uh, the lags where everything's being welded and held together um, so it's completely suspended and you could really push this thing around the shop pretty easy so that was pretty cool moving on to the next slide so yeah you get a little better version or vision of it so the the main viewing area was of this this piece was going to be about well it was on the second story and the third story this huge beautiful um mansion that has been around since the probably the 1920s um is in barrington hills and boy is it a beautiful place so a little backstory here um i'm doing like quite a bit of jogging back and forth i'm like i gotta separate these guys i got um, I gotta take everything off, gotta take all the steel off and paint them black because they're gonna be dry brushed. And if you've seen any of my uh, carvings before, you know I love to dry brush. It kind of shows the work off. All that time and energy I spend putting into uh, you know doing the all the detail, it really pays off when you do the dry brush for sure. Um, here you can see it, the finished version I just kept it pretty simple I didn't go crazy with color you can see that he's a little shy he's kind of might be his first time dancing with a gal and uh, she's smitten as well so yeah they're just they're just da the dancing bears of Barrington um, he came in, he he I guess when he bought the house there was this tapestry there and it had that famous dancing bear you know in the woods they were having a party in the woods and uh, there was these two bears that looked similar to this and he said can you carve me that and i was like what okay sure yeah so here we are um i think we're just getting i believe we're just get we're about getting ready to put these guys in the back of the truck but i think there's a few more images you can see how they're just suspended there in midair 
and like they're just jumping at the same time almost and uh, it was tricky to get all that connected and so there was a gigantic lag um, probably a two and a half foot lag that went through the one's back and into the other one's crotch area or belly area um, to hold them together but uh, yeah here they are in the back of my Northwoods Carver truck and I love that thing it is no longer with us I had to upgrade but uh, yeah it was pretty cool quite a sight to see cruising down the highway I guarantee so he had hired a company to come in with this this uh, this lift that could pick that well maybe it wasn't uh, 18 feet I think it was and we shortened it down to about 10 I think and you can see it up there and there's going to be an unveiling this guy we're putting the tarp up there to cover it up and uh, all these people showed up and it was a catered party it was a beautiful residence and it was so cool let's let's just look at the uh, an unveiling <laughs> An air, a blower would have been great. Great. Nicely done. Thank you. No. So as you can see, it was kind of cool to see happen, and uh, it's kind of different even when I look at these this video and uh, see it up there, and uh, just go, wow, I did that. That was cool. And I had the help of some really good friends that helped out uh, Jeremiah Dillman. And uh, he was a huge help. My wife, of course. Anyway, thanks for watching. And thanks for seeing what I saw.